Hello Preps and we have been looking at the book Peggy by Anna Walker in writing all week. We've looked at the beginning, we've looked at the problem in the middle and we've also looked at the end. And now it's time to have a think about what you liked about the story or perhaps even what you didn't like about the story. We're looking at favourite parts and I thought I would share with you some of my favourite parts of the story. I particularly liked this part just before Peggy got blown away when she was bouncing around on the trampoline in her backyard. It made me think of all the times that I've bounced around on my trampoline, not so much anymore, but certainly when I was more your age, I did it all the time. I also like this page when you can see her being carried by the wind with the leaves into the sky through the fields and over to the city. What a big journey she must have gone on. This is a great part of the story when she's walking down Collins Street and she can just see the most amazing shops, things that she's never seen before, fancy jewellery stores, fancy fashion stores and even a TV shop. But this probably is the best page for me. I really like the way that Peggy goes to the movies all on her own with her bag of popcorn. She goes and eats some spaghetti at a restaurant. She has a cupcake and she even tries on some shoes. And of course, she loves to ride up and down the escalators because that can be quite a bit of fun. Watching her go home on the train when she's following the girl with the sunflowers is another good part of the story, particularly when she's sitting on that man's hat. What a funny way to go home. And when she does find her way home and she travels with the pigeons, she's so happy to be in the backyard with them. You can see her bouncing with the pigeons on the trampoline, swinging off the sunflowers, being silly in her chicken coop, putting her bowl on her head and just having fun, even singing on the fence. That's a nice part of the story too. And there's Peggy right at the very end of the story with some big plans to take those pigeons and go back to the city. She's not scared of going there. So I've shown you some different parts of the story that I particularly liked. Now you might like to write about one of those parts or you might choose to write about a different part that I didn't mention. You can't get it wrong, this is just what you like. So try and draw a picture of your favourite part of the story and then write a sentence about it. Can you start your sentence with, I liked? So you might say, I liked it when Peggy was jumping on the trampoline or I liked it when Peggy blew into the city. I liked it when Peggy went up the escalator. Oh, that is a great word to stretch out. Now remember, you don't need to know how to spell everything perfectly. We're not expecting that at all, but we do want you to have a go at sounding out with the sounds that you do know. You can do this on your own preps. Have a go. See you later.